On this week's edition of The Edge, we're going to talk about some news that may have flown under your radar last week and help you get ahead of what people are going to be talking about next week. First up, living wages. In 2005, the city analyzed where we were with the living wage and found that more than 900 employees had fallen below that. During last week's City Council budget policy session, city staff said it would take two years and $4.2 million to bring civilian city employees up to $13 an hour minimum wage, and $18.2 million over three years to bring those same employees up to $15 an hour. $15 an hour is what groups including COPS Metro say is a true living wage and should be the minimum wage for city employees. City Manager Cheryl Scully said the minimum wage for civilian employees is now at $11.47 per hour, up from $8.75 an hour when she first came to San Antonio in 2005. City, we had 900 employees who were earning less than the federal living wage. Mm -hmm. That meeting also included a heads up that next year's budget will probably include an incentive to get more people to recycle. What's in it for you? The more you put in your recycling bin, the less you put in your trash bin, the lower your collection bill will be. And last week, a delegation of congressional Democrats hosted by Congressman Joaquin Castro came to Texas to talk to Central American women and children being held in private prisons just south of San Antonio. And many of these folks uh, should have their chance to apply for asylum and we believe would qualify as asylees. And in, it's in that spirit that we visited uh, Corns today. One lawmaker managed to shoot cell phone video of refugee women and children protesting and chanting. Coming up, expect more people to be talking about Uber and Lyft again, now that Mayor Ivy Taylor has asked the city manager to create a framework to bring the companies back to San Antonio for a pilot period. Get the edge by going to Nowcast SA for a refresher on public safety issues and why it's not accurate to call those companies rideshare. At NowcastSA.com, our mission is to democratize information. One way we do that is we make information accessible and we get it into people's hands. Here's a map of places where kids can get free food this summer. Please share it with someone you know who needs it. You can find a food service site, then click through the address and get the map with transportation options, and it's free. Visit NowcastSA.com where you can share a link to that map, learn more about the living wage, watch cell phone video of the protest, and children in private prisons. Thanks for watching The Edge.